First grade, today I'm going to teach you how to stain paper with using tissue paper. Um, the first thing you're going to do is on your paper, you are going to write your name and first grade and your teacher's initial. You can see I have it there. Now what I want you to do is flip it over. What we're going to be doing today can stain our fingers, so we need to be careful that we um, don't get our hands all wet. If our hands stay dry, then you won't have a problem. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to paint your paper, a part of your paper with some water, and then you're going to stick down a tissue paper. You're going to keep doing that, and you can overlap too. Little pieces, big pieces. You can stay to one cool or warm colors if you want, um, or purples and pinks and reds. It's up to you. See, I just hit that one and it started to bleed. That's what we're looking for, because we want this to take on the... Um, color of our paper. What we're going to do is put it from edge to edge, getting rid of all of the white. I think I'm going to do all different colors. Um, you want to try to just do one piece of tissue at a time, not a bunch. If, if it looks dry, you can always paint over the top of it too. In fact, either way works. So if I were to put down a green here, and then I paint it over the top, it kind of slides around. But if you paint, paint the water on it, it'll stick down. So probably the best route to go is to paint the paper with water and then stick the colors to it. Sometimes the tissue papers can be hard to lift up. If it wrinkles and bends, that's all right too. Um, there's no real wrong way to do this except that you're trying to get the paper to have these colors. The next time we see each other, um, your tissue papers will all be peeled off of it because, or because they're on the drying rack and then they dry and fall off. It's a pretty cool process. Um, you might get some of them back with tissues on and I'll have you kind of peel them off yourself. They, they dry and come right off, they flake right off. It's pretty cool. And then we're going to throw those dry tissues next time into the trash can and attach our robot to the top where I will teach you how I want you to cut it out and attach him to your stained tissue paper. So even the small spots, I want you to make sure you're covering it all. If it seems too dry, go back over it with water. And you can see I'm trying to keep my hands clean. So painting the paper, dropping the tissue, using your brush to kind of flatten it. Don't flatten it with your fingers. So painting the, the, the paper, taking a piece of tissue, dropping it on. Overlapping is great. And if your um, paint br or brush gets full of color, that's all right, too. You can always rinse it, and you can see it kind of drops and sticks. We're going to do that from edge to edge. And at the end of class, because it's going to be a kind of a puddled mess, make sure you're carrying it like a pizza over to the drying rack. All right, thank you for listening.